All right, so I'll tell. I want to show you this quick. Um, that comes with the user menu. Also a CD, but the CD is only for PC and I make this video to show what is in the box and how to update this thing with the Mac. Um, it comes with a OBD cable here, right? That connects to that. And also with a USB cable. And on the PC, you would connect the USB cable here to this machine here. There. Plug this into your PC, run the software, do your update, whatever, how that ever that works on a PC. On the Mac, it's slightly different. Um, to run this thing, to see how it looks like, you can power it through USB here. So this should turn it on, and it does, as you can see. You can go here in your setup, here, push OK, and you look into your About section. But your registration password, your serial number, that's what you need to register online. And that's something I'm going to uh, show you how that works. And on the Mac, then, all we need to do is work this a little different. So we don't work with this USB stuff. On the Mac, we do work with the SD card that is in here. And I show you how to update the whole device on the SD card and how to make a backup for yourself. So just in case this SD card breaks or goes bad, or somebody messes with it or it gets stolen in your shop or whatever, um, I'm going to show you how to make a backup on that. So we don't need all this uh, thing, we only need the SD card. And with that SD card we go to our Mac and there I show you how it goes. And we show where we do this. So I do sign in. And then you can create an Autel ID here. So you go here. You do here your password. Verification code you find on your device. You make up a password and you confirm the password. Fill out your name, address, all this crap and then create. So once you have that, you go to sign in here, put in your ID and your password. And then this here, the code. and sign in. Okay, so I have my devices here with my serial number and registration date. That's where you register it. Here at product registration, you put in your serial number, your password, the code from the thing, submit. And then here PC suit, you can see here for what system you have and you have here a Mac CPC suit for Mac right and there you can click on download and it's going to download the file so you know I have this already here this file right and uh, no this one I'm sorry okay yeah that's how you get the software and then we go from there all right, so when we unpack this thing, we can install this. So we have this application here, this software. And it won't find the thing when you connect it with the USB, the cable between the tester and your computer. So what you need to do, you insert the SD card from the tester in here. And then it wants you to enter your ID and your password. That's what you got from the website, right? 
so this would be the email address you used to log into the website and then the password to log into the website okay so i'm going to enter mine let's see uh just my so the online login id right for the outel.com website we do that and then once we have a password entered here the login button becomes available and when we click on that we will be online with this tool there we have it there we go and then you can see what uh, upgrades are available so if there is anything in this column here then there will be upgrades we see here a whole bunch of them that are available and they have different sizes so it, either you update all of them or just the ones you need so i do a single one here you see it's downloading and you see the size 50 megabytes or whatever for just for that chrysler there and it puts it on this sd card and here you see the update in progress right so it's trying to update one file and it, nothing has happened because it's still downloading now the installation is complete so that file there is done can we do the next one so you can click one by one if you want that or you click select all on the bottom left here on this page here you can see this select all button if you do that then it will update all of them now i'm gonna do this because i have a fast internet here and i'm also i'm gonna speed this up and fast forward my video here you see how much is there so when you select all i have how many left 50 and 56 right so that uh, takes a minute then i forgot how long it was but you know it does step by step one after another basically it writes all this data onto this sd card and then the sd card will be an up-to-date sd card you know everything what happens with this thing happens on the sd card Okay, so now it's done. Everything is installed and completed. So you're up to date with your thing. There's still space on this SD card. That's wonderful. Um, now, when you remove the SD card and plug it into your, your tester, then it will be up to date. That's a very nice concept here. Now, Imagine in your shop somebody takes your SD card out and, and takes your SD card from you or you lose your SD card or it breaks or whatnot. I mean, this stuff can happen, right? So it's, it does make sense to, after you have an update done here, to just make a backup of your SD card so that in case you lose it, you can write another one. And on the Mac, this is pretty simple to do. I show you now how to make a backup in utilities go utilities there is a utility in there this is called disk utility app disk utility there double click on that and then we can close this window here take it out of the way disk utility that shows all the disks that are available here and i really click on this thing where it says here no name sir brand no name right that is this sd card here on the left and then we go to image and we say uh, file we go to file i think file new image from this no name sd card right click on that and then we can save it on our computer and you just give it a name um that's it doesn't matter what name right so outel backup sd card or what i mean you can give it any name you want right so i write in here uh the, the date August 18 and then I put it on my desktop in this case um, format read only is fine but we want to do compressed that makes it smaller right you don't have to have the 8 gigabytes there. it will be a lot smaller and save and now it's preparing it and it will put it on the desktop uh, that stuff I can also speed up for you that it doesn't take so long for this video but basically uh, it puts the SD card as a file on your computer you need to enter your password for that it's normal on uh, on the Mac everything is a little safe here and then you see here on the right it creates this DMG file with that you can recreate later 
the SD card again if you lose it. If you put a new SD card in there, you can write this data onto the new SD card, okay? So it has a checksum, everything is beautiful, done and good. So we have a backup of the SD card, and then we can use this SD card and put it into our device. So we are back now with this SD card. This is updated now, you just plug it in, and then next time you use it on, in, on the car, it gets power through the, through the OBD, or here, again, <laughs> you could run this thing with an external power supply, they say, oh here. There, where I don't know how many volts that has, but uh, I just run it here with a little USB power bank where you charge your phone with or what. That will also power this thing up so you can take a look. And uh, let me get closer here and then you have a look how this looks like. Let me focus on this. Okay, so uh, here you go into your setup, in your about section, and you see when it was made, but not when it was updated, right? So the software versions may not change, but the cars you updated, they will. So I hope this uh, video was to your liking. If you want you can subscribe that would be nice and um, yeah I hope you like this video